Hey guys, I am in my bedroom. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling too well today. So I threw on some lip gloss and figured I'd get, get in front of the camera and just talk to you like I always do. Unfortunately, I'm in my bed. So if I got bed hair or bed head, I'm sorry. Um, Guys, I'm coming to you today because I received some brushes. Um, and I have, I'm going to do, uh, when I'm feeling better, I'm going to do a proper review of all the brushes that I have. It's ridiculous. Actually, it's kind of a, more of a collection. Uh, I just collect brushes, but these brushes that I have here, let me cover up my dress. Well, this is how they come. I'm not going to show you the front of them. Um, and let me show you the bag that they're in. I'm sorry, guys, because I'm in my bedroom. They come in a bag like this. The company name is Royal Care Cosmetics. It's RC Cosmetics. I'm just going to show you that, okay? RC Cosmetics. But the actual company name is Royal Care Cosmetics. Their web address is RC dash cosmetics.com. Again, that's R as in Robert C dash cosmetics.com. And these brushes, I've already opened them. They, they were individually packaged, but I just wanted to come in and show you these brushes. Um, let me just say this. I have to say that these brushes are for what you get. They are so inexpensive. Let me show you the ferrules of the brushes. I'm going to turn them upside down so you guys can see that as well since I'm recording from my bedroom. Okay. This, here's the ferrules. So the ferrules are pretty good size. If you think about it, I'm holding the ferrule. Okay. So, so, so if you if you envision working with them, if they're like a really, really good size. But what I really wanted to say about them is they're synthetic fibers. They are so very soft. Look at this one here. I'm going to go over all the brushes with... Let me just say this about makeup brushes. I do not believe them. These are not labeled. Each brush is going to simply say, let me see if you can see that. It's going to simply say RC Cosmetics. Now, the thing about brushes is I never go by what they were meant to be used for. I do whatever I want to use them for. This particular Kabuki brush is perfect for around the eyes. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. Look at that. It gets all in there. If you want to use liquid, if you want to use powder, if you want to use cream, it's going to do, it's going to be phenomenal. I, me personally, I don't, if you guys are looking at me, I'm going to go ahead on shot. Can you see why I don't contour here? I have a natural contour. So if I were to contour here, it would be too intense. My face naturally kind of does that. So um, I don't contour there, but I do contour my nose, okay? So this is excellent for contour. Look, look at that point. Excellent, 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 okay? If you want to get into the hollows of your eyes, contour that. If you did want to contour your cheeks, push face. Hmm. Perfect, okay? And it's super duper duper soft, okay? I've already washed these brushes. Whenever you wash your brushes, you want to hang them upside down so that the water doesn't get into the ferrules, the brushes. Look, look at this. This is, and I'm not doing anything. I'm using all of my strength. Let's see if I can move this ferrule. This is after being washed. Nothing. So it didn't loosen up. This is another angled kabuki brush. You get four. Again, your pointed kabuki brush. This is just your typical flat top kabuki brush. Wait a minute now. No, 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 it isn't. This is your rounded kabuki brush. Extremely, I wish there was a, a fill edition so you guys, just look at that. Look at how that, and let me just show you this. Maybe I can show you how soft it is. I'm going to put some pressure on my face, okay? This is me putting pressure on my face. Just a little bit of pressure, okay? This is me using a brush. My skin is barely moving. This is just showing you how soft this brush is. I think that's a good demonstration. I'm going to do that again. Um, <laughs> and this is the 
flat top kabuki brush. Oh my word. So like when you're beating your face and you're using your liquid and you're going to dot it on and then you're going to buff it in. When I say this buffs in foundation like nobody's business, unbelievable. Okay. So yeah, I got four brushes because I like them so much. I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to order the eye brushes. The, eyes, the, the brushes that are used for eyes. Now, again, just because they say eyeshadow brushes, I'm not going to use them for that. I'm going to use them for intricate details for anything. If I want to get really, like for, if I want to put something in here, if I want to use it for my concealer, if I want to conceal down the bridge of my nose, and I need, I need a really, really small brush for that. Anything. I mean, if I want to use it as a lip brush. Who says you have to, you have to use them for what they're intended for? But I just want you guys to see this. I want you guys to see the, now, here is the best part of it all. The brushes were under $20, under $20 for that kind of quality. You typically are going to spend upwards of $50 for that type of quality. Um... I know Sigma, BH Cosmetics, but I know Sigma really charges an arm and a leg. I had a friend of mine to show me, and I'm sorry, the TV's on. Typically, I don't record in this room. And I have, let me just say, my TV is very distracting. Um, Sidebar, a lot of you guys have been asking me for house tours or home tours. Forest Rocks also, she, she's also a vlogger. Uh, she lives in, in the Georgia area as well, Atlanta, Georgia area. Um, she was robbed after she did her house tour. Let me just say this, guys. 99.9% .9 of you guys are fabulous. There are 1% that are crooks. I call it like I see it. She's not the first type person that I have seen that was begged that for some odd reason, certain people are, are picked or chosen or maybe they come off as if they have a little bit. I don't, I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I have been getting a lot of requests to do a house, a house tour. You will not be counting up my TVs and computers and all of that. I'm very, very, very particular about what I put on the interwebs, even Instagram. Even if you notice when I show my husband's office, I make sure that the, the really good stuff's not on the desk. I mean, and that's not shade to Forrest Rocks because I think she was really being friendly and kind and just wanting to show, her, I, I guess, what her subscribers were asking her for. And to think that after that she was robbed, that's very, that, that's very, very disappointing. So... After I heard that, even prior to that, I just am not going to do a home tour. I know what I have. My family knows what I have. And it's enough for us. Let's just say that. Um, I've also been, at, for some odd reason, I guess for me doing reviews in the car, people, but I mean, I, this is not shade, but I guess they notice different cars or different settings. You know, like, well, can you do a car tour? Or what kind of car was that with the wood grain? Or blah, blah. I am not a materialistic person and I'm not a bragger. So if I do a review or if I do a car vlog, it's simply me talking in the car. It's not me showing off what my husband's car or, or, or my car for that often or for that reason. Um, what we drive is simply what we drive to get us from A to B. And where we live is simply where we live to, for, for, for shelter. That's it. Um, but we are comfortable. So if that answers your question, I hope that does. We're, we're, we're fine. Um, getting back to the brushes, they're outstanding. I'm sorry I had to come to you in my bedroom, but I wasn't feeling well. Um, so I figured, why not? Come to you in my bedroom. Um, I'm just going to lean up against my headboard here. And, um, I'm rearranging my room soon. And I'm looking forward to, my, my anniversary is March the 1st, so I'm just going to kind of go off on a tangent. I'm going to surprise my husband with a little bit of rearranging. And unfortunately, because of what we discussed earlier, there are certain things that I won't be able to show you. But what I will be able to show you is my office. Because, you know, since this is a beauty channel, 
I will show you my beauty collection and that is in my office. So I hopefully you'll enjoy that. Again, let me reiterate, 99.9% .9 of you guys are absolutely phenomenal, but there are that small percentage that are crooks that will watch every little thing in your home, wait for you to say you're going on vacation and you come back to an empty house. I wasn't born yesterday. Um, and I appreciate Ford's Rocks for being honest. She didn't have to come on and say, you know, that, that's kind of a bit of a, of a touchy subject to admit that that happened to you. And I'm so sorry that it did, but I, I do appreciate her honesty because it helps for us to, a lot more of us to be a lot more careful. Excuse my face, my hair. I didn't feel like doing a full beat today, guys. I'm sorry. This is my shadow from yesterday. I didn't take any of my makeup off. I fell asleep. I wasn't feeling well. And I didn't even really do anything to my hair. I tell you guys at night, just so you guys know, I put um, flexi rods in my hair at night. And this is just to show you, I wake up, that was going to be real corny. I, I, I wake up like this? Um, no. I wake up with flexi rods, but when I take them out, this is how it looks. Okay? So typically what I do is I leave it in its natural state. I never put heat in my hair. So however these curls decide to fall is just about what we get. Okay. Um, it's always a pleasure. I so enjoy you guys. This video has been 11 minutes and 20, almost 30 seconds. So I'm going to say bye-bye. I hope you guys have a great day. Oh, before I go, I know you guys probably can't read this because it's probably going to show us upside down here. But what that says is 18 years, love. March 1st will be 18 years I've been married. And I've actually, I was doing the math wrong. I was with my husband four years prior to us getting married. I've been with him for 22 years, guys. So, almost 12 minutes. I'm going to say goodbye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.